We are back in the no left click land. I updated the world to 1.20.6 and later in the video I will update it to 1.21. I'm curious, how many advancements can I get? This question will lead me to very dangerous places. First thing I wanna do is go to Bastion account on day 28. Back then I had iron armor and was too scared to go inside. Here it is. Gotta watch out for the brutes. Although Bastion was generated in 1.19, I didn't open any chests yet, so loot wasn't set and there should be netherite upgrades here. Of course I fell. First pieces of netherite. Even a notch apple. I got the treasure but I'm greedy. Calm down, don't panic. I don't have to waste arrows. I can use lava. If I place it correctly. Oh, whatever. You're very conveniently stuck down here. Okay, got everything, bye. A rest of the night 101 spent hunting creepers. Feels good to be back, man. Time for breeding sheep and shearing them. New villagers. I'll get more lecterns. Not a great deal, but I can't bother to get leather now. And the new librarians have useless traits. Pre-villagers are locked to cauldrons. I could remove these, but I know that getting mending this way is unlikely. I realized that instead of doing that terrible deal for bookshelves, I can get a ton of books from here. Look who's waiting for me. Actually, there is another method of getting mending books. If I found an ancient city... Ooh, that looks good. Horse, I'm leaving you again, but I'll be back soon. This is enhanced lighting in editing, but in game I could barely see anything. Not a great start. Oh yes, yes! This area is skull free. Maxed leggings! Although cursed. Okay, but I'm not prepared to explore this place. I just wanted to find it. I need firework rockets, wool and potions of night vision because I can't see a damn thing sometimes. Bailing out. Oh wait, a chest. Shrieker is on cooldown now. Crap, I forgot that closing a chest is also a sound. I left. But obviously got lost in these caves where I see mostly just a black screen. Definitely didn't come through this area. We'll take the berry though. I'm very high up and there's some floating gravel. Maybe it could reveal a way out. Doesn't look like it. Oh, a piece of dirt? Sure. Thank god. Definitely saving cords to this place. Time to go home. This is closed off. Wh what? Stop shooting, you morons! 
No. Daj. And it's raining. Anyway, gathering supplies. Lure 2, that must be the old one. Knockback, multi shot. Wait, I have two villagers with lure 2? Come on! Now I'm prepared. Let there be light. A chicken spawned here? They can't spawn on moss? I had no idea. More food for me, I guess. Back at the entrance. Here night vision is better than glowberries. Hmm. I don't think a stack of wool is enough. At least this is secured. Nothing too exciting for the next few chests. Except for non-cursed leggings with mending. I don't think I can open this safely with only 7 wool left. Yep. I'm out of wool. Screw the stealth approach. I don't care. I don't care. Finally something good. Oh, fuck! Why are you running? Why are you running? Night vision is out too. Okay, enough for today. Boring stuff on days 111 and 112. Could you stop trampling my crops? Thank you. Might be enough sheep, you know. Now I'm building a horse stable, which I promised to do at the end of 100 days. Burning blocks when misplaced. Not the prettiest build, but at least it's better than what they had before. This time I got a ton of supplies. 48 minutes of night vision should be enough. Here we go. Ancient city, take 3. This journey was longer because I took it in the overworld and slept for one night to ensure horse's safety. With Swiss sneak this will be much easier. Isolating every shaker I can see. Good spot for another portal. No shriekers left in the area. And... What? Huh? Oh, the skull vein is blocking my portal. And this is not even flammable. Nor can it be washed with water, damn it. I had to make a second frame. Back to exploring the city. I don't really need anything from the central area. I can just craft these things. What is this? Physically no way I can avoid shrieking. Surely the chest must contain a great treasure if it's this heavily guarded. What? Honestly looks scripted, but you can check the seed. Here are the cords of the miraculous chest. Finally, getting an elytra with mending took 118 days. Holy crap. 
I can just fly places. Oh my god. You have no idea how happy this made me. For the entire day I was flying around and looking structures. I even found a mushroom island. Time to really start cranking up advancements. But first more wood. Found armadillos. Dog armor. Actually wait. Yeah, much better. Let's test the wolf in a battle. Not very effective, may I say. To breed turtles, I need to kill turtles. This is so messed up. I fed them remains of other turtles. Oh god. I need a melon. Gotta eat everything. Traveling with a dog is fun, but only until you have an elytra. Then it gets annoying. A whole day of fishing. I need a lot of fish to tame all the cat variants. No enchanted books for 20 plus minutes. This method of getting mending also sucks. Yay, beetroots. Then sound corrupted, but nothing really interesting happened anyway. Except I found this gigantic mountain. Looks like terrain generator cut off the mountain steep. This is Y256. Oh, and also goats. A cherry biome. I still have so many biomes left, I didn't see a single desert or badlands in this world, or most of the snowy biomes, all I see are forests and plains. Finally a new wolf type. Some easy advancements. I need the block back. This is like the 10th night I'm trying to kill two phantoms with one arrow. Yes, oh god, I can sleep! How to farm bamboo when you can't left click? Tower will save me a few fireworks when I'm launching with Elytra. Also eventually will be needed for a star trader. Hey, a bunch of non-glowing creatures. Is it a bird? Yes, yes it is a bird. Come on, born already. Wait, can't I do this? Oh, yes I can. Found a bamboo forest. Got a breed pandas. Actually, let's dive into this cave. I need axolotls as well. This was a series of massive mistakes. I was diving deeper and deeper into the complex system of tunnels, caverns and tight passages. Even found a mineshaft. This place has more light than deep dark, but it still can be hard to see sometimes. Is that a skeleton? Oh no, it was an enderman. Shit. Luckily, I've already learned how to deal with an angry enderman without left clicking. Hey, an ender pearl. This ender pearl turned out to be my savior a few minutes later. If I didn't accidentally look this enderman in the eyes, if the pearl didn't drop, or if it burned, I would be completely screwed. I ran out of food, but that's not important. Axolotls! Seriously though, how the fuck do I leave this place? I'm lost. Four pieces of TNT aren't enough. 
unless I blow them up in a strategic place. This is the highest point of the cave I found, and there's water dripping from the ceiling. Fingers crossed. I don't see an immediate way out, to be honest. Here I can place light, but this doesn't work in the water. I don't have a better idea. Gotta risk it. I can't see shit. No good. What do I do? What do I do? Then came a genius idea. Box myself in. I will be able to remove water with a bucket and a brief. You. Wait. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Now, how do I get out? I softlocked myself. Holy shit. My god. If this doesn't work, I might as well abandon this playthrough. It worked! I'm safe! For a few more minutes I was running around the caves, losing an axolotl in the process. This gravel could actually easily kill me as well. Then I finally realized what I should do. Duh, I'm recording all of this. I just have to watch the recording as I walked in and go backwards. This is so hard to see from down here. Yes. I miss the sun so much. The last cave incident was the scariest experience I've had in this world. Rare black cat! Yes, look, it's the full moon! Let's do a small break from the overworld and do some stuff in the nether. I need those fungi to breed hoglins. Get out. Seriously, fire aspect short. Good piggies. Yeah, fell in there. Easy. Right. Nice fortress, Minecraft. Big brain struts to pass through. Is it a balloon? No, it's not. Piglins don't stand a chance when I have lava and fire resistance. Lodestone! I can craft my first netherite ingot. Okay, let's try a sword protector. I don't know if this is close enough. No, stop! It worked! Hmm, nice timing. Then I did my best ever creeper hunting session. 30 free gunpowder in one night. Small chicken pen. Back on netherite hunting, I need a lot of that stuff. Is this a doable shot? Oh, nice. What we've got here? Another treasure bastion? Also need one thing from the fortress, but it's quite rare. Oh, never mind. Yet another bastion. And it was terrible. Let me at least get this. One more. Die. 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 How many? Oh, great. My boots broke. 
crap. Well, gotta equip those. Smithing with style is gonna be a massive pain. Next two days, farming, enchanting, repairing, and so on. I'm spending so much time hunting creepers, maybe I should build a mob farm. So I tried, but note that A. I can't mine blocks, and B. I'm terrible at building farms. And I already fucked it. Observer was supposed to go here. This is the basic idea. I've watched it for a few minutes and it obviously doesn't work. Mobs have many places to spawn on, they won't choose that platform. Then I remembered you can bone meal bamboo. So now I have tons of scaffolding and I can make an AFK platform in the sky. Also 1.21 just released and I'm halfway into the video, let's update. This I can do straight away. For the rest of new advancements I need trial chambers, hopefully this guy sells me a map. While sugarcane is growing I can AFK above the mob farm. Seems to be the optimal height. Mobs still spawn directly below, but nowhere else. I have to torch up this hill. There's drops produced by the farm. Much better rates. But I want more layers. Please give me the map. Yes! Take the lodestone compass, I don't need that. While doing the second layer, I misplaced blocks several times. You can see why I am not building anything complicated. Farm is working on a faster cycle. Actually too fast, only 2 gunpowder for the whole night. Better, but still too fast. I wanna see trial chambers. Tower reaches build height now, so I will get a head start. Here we go. Good news, I can get here without fireworks. Bad news, it's underwater. Exploration time. Give me that trident. Back home I grab the helmet with respiration and brew some potions. Here we go again. Lots of monsters behind this wall. Wow, there really are lots of you in here. I searched up the cave but couldn't find any signs of the trial chamber. Give me that trident! Yes! Very low durability though. More grinding. Gunpowder, potions, light sources. Back in the cave, now I can see things. In the dark I saw a random water source, but now I see it's a passage. Looks promising. Connects to a mineshaft. Lots of caves, but they don't lead to our trial chamber. For the lack of better ideas, I decided to set off TNT right above the marker. And nothing. Expanding the farm even more. Building with whatever blocks I got. To 
21 gunpowder is new best for the farm. Here I am on day 168, casually hunting mobs. How hard could this be with netherite armor? Actually only two pieces. I'm wearing a elytra instead of the chest plate. And I took off boots cause they don't have mending. First totem popped since day 96. Only 12? Sound broke again, here I go to trial chambers. Hopefully 11 TNT is enough. Wait, I didn't bring sand. No wonder everything takes ages if I keep forgetting stuff. I need gravity blocks to make explosions work underwater. Grabbed sand and flew back. Thankfully sound is working now. Let's not drown. Lighting up the area more should help. Tough bricks! Oh my god! Last piece of TNT and I still can't enter. Maybe a creeper can help? Next day lighting up the cave and praying that the creeper spawns next to the trial chamber wall. Eventually... It didn't really work, did it? New plan, hunt a few creepers to craft one more TNT. Finally. I already need more storage and I didn't even enter. Axe will be useful, cause I can do this. Just skeletons, kinda lame. Last one dead. I got a key. Bows are so overpowered. Who needs a sword when you have a bow? I'm pretty sure that chamber shouldn't generate like this. I have to use water to get through the gap. Okay, one thing that bows can't do is kill breezes. Lava works though. Let's see... What book is that? No, oh, come on! Lava alone doesn't give kill credit, but my Thorns armor does. That's why the breeze drops experience and rots. Zombies, wow. This is the atrium and the entrance room without an entrance. Ooh, an ominous bottle. We're doing ominous trials as well. Going the sus. Slimes, wow, the easiest combination possible. Normal zombies, skeletons and slimes. Not even worth to waste the bow on them. Final room. I better take the bucket ASAP. Ouch. So dark, why are there no lamps? Please die. Easy, even without left click. Time to ramp up the difficulty, I guess. Still rather easy. 
ominous key first try. Diamond armor this time. Zombies. Baby zombies. Baby zombies with enchanted swords. Wow. This is supposed to be difficult. Okay, this room is a bit harder with ominous trial. I want to trigger all spawners before trial omen runs out, vaults will be done later. I'm not gonna lose the boots again. Oh no, I'm infested! Disgusting! Do you ever die? This is a power 5 bow! Last mob from last ominous spawner. Now vaults. I have 3 ominous keys and there are 3 ominous vaults I can access. No chapel is cool I guess. Still some normal vaults left, let's get more keys. Wait, I forgot about boots being almost broken. So close! A trident, seriously? This was a very successful expedition. I've got so much stuff. Obviously I wasn't able to take everything on one trip, I had to fly back and forth. Slabs should stabilize the observers and make farm more efficient. I've been leveling up librarians, still none of them sells mending, but one guy sells channeling. Trident might not be a good weapon, but it's fun. Now I want to respawn the dragon and then do end city raiding. So I'm leaving the netherite stuff just in case something happens. This will help my elytra last longer. A book sits here from around day 60, now I can use it. Second dragon fight incoming. Hey dragon, are you a plane? Cause I'm waiting to board you... What did I just say? Wow, I'm so bad at this game. Calm down, dragon! Next go, kill an Endermite. Yes. No! Ah! I forgot Enderman attack Endermites. And there is no new gateway for some reason, this is the old one. Eh, whatever. I can do caves and cliffs out here in the void, in my case it's much easier than digging down. I just have to be extremely careful. Not stressful at all. Fast forward through the raiding session. Yeah. 
Very good chest plate. I can craft an ender chest at home. Let's use it to save inventory space. This city has a gateway very close by. One more city maybe? Oh. Mm, I literally almost lost everything. No more cities, no more cities. I went back to the city with a gateway. I wanted to move a shulker into the overworld. I thought that with the ability to leash boats this will be easy. I was wrong. At least I know a good city location now. And there might attempt to. Why did I set my spawn here? Endermite down. Rest of the day spent sorting loot. I don't have diamond boots with mending. I will use these for now. I found another woodland mansion and I was hoping for allies. There is an advancement for giving a cake to an ally. Sadly there were no allies. Again. But I got the backstream. Snowy places! Yes! Finally new biomes! And a stray! Finishing balanced diet. An outpost. Allies! Final food item. Yay. Time to spend some of these blocks. Another upgrade for the Elytra. Playing with fire can be dangerous. After all this time, badlands and the desert, more easy advancements. Thunder again. I didn't bring the trident. I came for a bogged. Piercing can be useful. Poison, this must be a bogged. Thunder is somehow still going. Yes! Old bow became too expensive to repair. Nether adventures again. I'm gonna build a multi-purpose portal. I have a limited supply of obsidian. This place is great. Gonna use the same portal on Subspace Bubble, Zoglin and Uneasy Alliance. Last monster. I think I'm gonna leave an easy alliance for the next video. It's a lot more work. Two treasure bastions right next to the portal? The heck? 
No problems in first one. Minor problems in the second. This is enough for a full beacon. Symmetry must be preserved. Nothing. Sounds like too many chickens overload the sound engine. Decorations. Maximizing wood production. Actually, how much was that? Over a stack. Now I'm gonna build a wall. This is a small tribute to Luke the Notable, which was the original creator of the 100 days idea. Also, it will prevent my sheep herd from escaping. Follow me. Now nothing can go out. And now nothing can go in either. For the last challenge I wanna do Star Trader. Gotta admit that the ability to leash boats is great. Yes! I realized this was advancement number 99, so I'm doing one more. Fake chimney. What the... Certainly wasn't expecting that. I like it. Yay, 100th advancement. You can go back to work. What? How did it hit you? This is what I meant to do. I wanted to end the video in the same way as 100 days by fishing for the whole day. But then I thought that the trial key would be good for the thumbnail. Yippee! Defeating a trial spawner in record time. But no key. Yay. Nearby zombie spawner activated too. Might as well defeat that. Trash. As sun rises on day 200, well, it's raining, but you can imagine how the sun rises. I ran to the beacon to make some screenshots. I can't do all advancements, because total bilocation is completely impossible, and I lost the dragon egg like an idiot. But that still leaves 20 more things to do, with how did we get here being the ultimate goal. If you want to see more, or if you have any other suggestions, let me know. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching.